the NDC is crucial internal elections, the primaries, is only a few days away and our focus is in the Adenta constituency for this election desk report. And I'm here to speak with Larry Akins, who is the constituency secretary here. Mr. Larry. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank I want you, to find sir. out what's, what's the preparation like? How ready is Adenta for Saturday? Okay. All right. So Adenta is ready. Um, we have put in all the measures. We have put in all the necessary uh, steps to provide a free transparent elections on Saturday mm. and and so we are ready I see. we are ready yes. now there are three candidates yes sir. the certain MP and then two other contenders who are both females how, how, how are people receiving that the fact that the MP was um, seeking a re-election is being contested by two women well I I would say that I mean all the three candidates are potential winners. Um, we know um, the incumbent as uh, Honorable uh, Mohammed Adamu Ramadan. Um, of course, this is um, his second uh, opportunity. Mm. No, the third opportunity. Um, he came in 2016. Oh, and which he didn't win. He didn't okay. win. And then this is the, the second one which he won. Mm. And then um, this is going to be the, the, the third. Um, well, uh, we, I would say that he's also good. He's also connected to the youth as well. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, when you look at the, the three candidates, uh, the second person, uh, Madame Linda, is also youthful. Um, she's also coming in with, uh, uh, I, I would say, a, a different way of also marketing herself okay and then the, the third person who is uh, madame oye bambu ado who, who is also known um, nationwide or i mean worldwide as a human rights activist and so all of them have the um, the potential of winning and so for us as a constituency we are going to provide a vehicle whoever wins we are going to rally behind the person and make sure um, we win 2024 elections. What, what makes the Adenta constituency unique from all the other constituencies perhaps that people should be focused on? Um, well, you know, Adenta is one of the constituencies with uh, level-headed people. I mean, very resource people from, from I mean, various backgrounds. And so, so, so they are very discerning people. Very discerning people. And okay. so people look at issues and they vote on issues. Mm -hmm. And so um, gone were the days where it's like, okay, because it is this person, it is this person. If, if, you, if you look at our track record, um, you, you realize that Adenta usually, or NDC, when a particular candidate comes and relates or does not relate perfectly with their constituents. They tend to change the person. Which is which has become a trend in this constituency. Exactly. Very and, interesting and, one. and so the key thing is that um, aspirants, I mean, when they are going for elections, they, they connect themselves to the delegates. But the moment they win, then they feel that, well, you know, they, 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 they try to distance themselves a bit. And so we are looking at, I mean, whoever wins, we want to correct all those things and make sure that at least there's that connection, there's that bonding mm. between delegates, the NDC fraternity, and the aspirant or the, the member of parliament, mm. if the person is, uh, becomes one. Let's look at Saturday proper. How many delegates are within the Adenta constituency who are going to vote? Okay, so um we are expecting 2774 that's nearly delegates. 3, yes and, okay. and so um it's going to be a, a very uh, long day uh, we have uh, three polling centers to do so averagely we are doing um almost about 930 per uh, a center, center which is quite huge and, and so well we'll do our best 
but we don't want it also to eat too much into the night and mm. so even though we have made provisions for whatever i mean may happen but we are good to go okay let's look at security how prepared uh, looking at a number of 2700 plus people what's the situation going to be like in terms of security on saturday okay so with security uh, we are not using any internal security okay we are deploying uh, the police and so um, we have um, about a hundred policemen being deployed mm. and so you can see how tight security will be and so we'll urge delegates i mean we don't want any issues we want an incident free elections so just come with your voter id and come and cast your vote. If you try and do anything, the police may, you know, take you on. The NDC uh, is regarded as a government in waiting. Do you think this election is that statement that will be made to Ghanaians that indeed the party is ready to wrestle power in 2024? Very, very optimistic. Um, for me, I, I think that is, I mean, we are 150% sure. That's a and bold one. Yes. 150. And, and we are going to do everything possible. We are going to do everything possible. Make sure we are going to train our pulling agents. I mean, early in time. We don't want, I mean, anything to go wrong. And so this time, preparations, you know, you can see we are conducting our elections over a year before um, the, the, the main elections. elections. And so we have a lot of work to do before the general elections and i i can also assure you that the party will do everything possible mm. i mean logistically i mean planning everything possible so that uh, victory will be ours okay before we say our goodbyes i just want to know what it is you expect from one i think you've mentioned what you expect from the delegates but how about the candidates what's your expectations of them these few days into the election even on the election day um, well, we are looking or we've been advising. In fact, uh, today we are going to, um, we are, we've invited them to sign an MOU, okay. um, which will guide them as to how they are going to also conduct themselves during or before, during and after the elections. And so we presume that um, if these things are able to, uh, we are able to sort them out today, um, then it is binding on all of them that no matter who wins, we all, they all have to come together and support the person. All right. Larry Akins is the constituency secretary for the Adenta constituency of the NDC. Mm -hmm.